my name is Tara. Welcome back to Thousand Palms Library channel. Today I will be reading to you The Frog Prince from The Land of Stories written by Chris Colfer, read with permission of Little Brown and Company. Once upon a time there lived two princesses in a stunning castle. Even though they shared the same parents, the same home, and led similar lives, the sisters couldn't have been more different. The older sister was a mean and selfish girl. She called the castle servants horrible names and threw tantrums whenever she didn't get her way. The younger sister was sweet and kind. She had a big heart and was nice to everyone she met. One day, the older sister took a stroll through the castle gardens by herself. She was playing with her favorite toy, a small sphere made of pure gold. The princess practiced tossing it into the air and catching it. She accidentally dropped it into a small pond and it sank to the bottom. Oh no, the older sister said, I'll never retrieve it. Right when she turned to head back to the castle, a frog leapt out of the pond, clutching the golden ball in his mouth. Hello, princess, he said. I believe this belongs to you. That was nice of you, she said. Is there anything I could give you in return? A soft fully pad to lie on or a nice jar of flies? Actually, there is something you could give me, something I desire very much, the frog said. A kiss would be much appreciated. The older princess was disgusted that the frog would request something so disturbing. To teach him a lesson, she picked him up by the leg and threw him against a brick wall in the garden. How dare you ask such a thing from a princess, she said and walked away. Hmm. The younger princess had been watching the whole thing from a tower. She hurried outside to see if the frog was hurt. You poor thing, the younger princess said. I'm terribly sorry she did that to you. Will you be all right? Oh yes, I'll be perfectly fine, the frog said. My sister can be so cruel, she said. Perhaps I can make it up to you. I'd be delighted to give you a kiss. The younger princess placed the frog in the palm of her hand and raised him up to her face. She kissed the frog's lips and set him back on the ground. There you are, she said. I hope you have a lovely... Suddenly, the frog began to twist and turn. He shimmied and he shook. His body stretched to ten times his size and his green skin peeled away. The frog magically transformed into the handsomest young man the young princess had ever seen. Good heavens, the young princess gasped. You're a man? Indeed, he said. I was once the prince of a powerful kingdom. Until an evil witch cursed me to live as a frog. She said the only way to break the spell was to receive a kiss from a princess. The young princess and the prince traveled across the land to his home, and the kingdom rejoiced at his return. The prince and the younger princess were married and eventually became the king and queen. The older princess stayed at home and spent the rest of her life kissing every frog and toad she could find. However, none of them turned into a handsome prince. She never found a husband, but she did receive many wards. The end. Thank you.